In the last few years, remote work has become popular, allowing people to work from anywhere in the world. Many of you have been asking me about ways to get a remote job if you are living not in the same country as the company you are applying to. So if you are based in one country and looking to get a job in another country, stick around, I made this video for you. Hi there, my name is Akram and I'm a web developer based in Hamburg, Germany. My inbox has been blowing up with questions about remote jobs lately. And that's understandable because it has many benefits. You get more job offers to choose from without being restricted to the area you are based in. You save money and time on the commute and it also opens the door to earning more. You could work at the same hours and earn more as the salaries varies significantly between countries. So today I'm making this video to talk about the challenges that you might encounter on this journey, so you have a better grasp of what to expect. I will also give you some solutions to overcome them and tell you where to look for your dream remote job. The challenges. Working remotely and looking for opportunities abroad is a great way to grow your career. It saves you money and time, increases your earnings and broadens your chances of working with remote companies. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, it comes with a lot of challenges. First, the time difference can be an inconvenience. It can be hard to align your working hours with the company's demand. And even if you have flexible schedule, coordinating and scheduling meeting with your colleagues might still be difficult, as you might be not available during their working hours and vice versa. The second challenge you could face is the language barrier. I always get asked about job opportunities in Germany by non-German speakers. I would say while English is sufficient in most cases, at least for the IT branch, it can be an advantage to know the local language. It's true that you might not need it to get the job done, but you might still want to communicate with your colleagues, and not everybody speaks English. So having a beginner level of that language might be of a great help. Working remotely for a company in a different country can also mean limited benefits. This includes health insurance, retirement plans and employment protection. The work culture could be different and hard to adapt to. Things like work hours, communication norms and expectations for work style can be very different from one country to the other. Our culture and backgrounds play a huge role in how we perform and work, so your style could possibly not match the job expectations of your employers. The real hustle doesn't start until you have to deal with the paperwork like tax requirement and employment laws. This can be challenging to navigate. To avoid this dilemma, a lot of companies prefer to hire locals. Some countries even require that you exhaust all your chances of hiring a local before looking for a foreigner. This limits the number of job opportunities available to you, making it harder to find a remote job. Fortunately, most of these challenges have not gone unnoticed. Many companies have taken steps to address them. As more people are working remotely, there are now lots of companies that offer solutions to make remote work easier for everyone involved. For example, Oyster HR. It's a platform that offers different services to make the procedure of hiring a foreigner easier. They offer country-specific guidance throughout the entire hiring process and can even ensure medical and equity benefits to the team members wherever they live. Another platform with a similar concept is Globalization Partners. It helps companies hire and manage remote workers in different countries. They have legal HR and tax experts to support growing companies in every step of the way. This includes creating employment contracts, offering benefits packages, and supporting global team members with solutions on a case-by-case basis. Basis. Remote Team Solutions, Velocity Global and Papaya Global are also companies with the same concept. They are all dedicated to helping employer hire beyond borders. Now let's go back to our main questions. How can you get a remote job as a web developer? Well, there are two ways to go. The employee and the freelancing way. In the first case, plenty of websites are designed to help you get what you need. You can start with flexjobs.com. If you go on this website, you will find a variety of remote job categories such as web development, design and finance. They also offer resources to help you succeed in your remote job, including a job search checklist and a guide to work from home. This could be a great tool if you have a specific place in mind. You can select your preferred country or city and then add your job title. You will get all the job offers that are in this area and you can apply to. You can even personalize your research by answering some questions like your career aspirations and your preferred schedule to get results tailored exactly to your needs. Another interesting website with the same purpose 
WordPress is WeWorkRemotely.com. As the name indicates, this website is one of the largest remote work communities in the world. It allows people to look for jobs and employers to look for candidates, so it's a great way to connect the two. For example, type full stack developer in the search bar. You will get all kinds of job openings. New offers are posted daily, so you can keep checking until you find the right one for you. Next up, we have WellFound, which former was Angelist. This is also a great website for remote job offers. It shows you all the job openings in the same company. It also guides you with reviews, ratings, whether or not the company is actively hiring, the number of employees, etc. Another thing that particularly caught my attention on this website was the simplicity of the application procedure. Once you find an offer that you like, you simply click on apply, fill out a short form, upload your resume, and you're done. Lastly, LinkedIn is always a good website to keep an eye on. Granted, it is not exclusively for remote jobs, but there has been an increased demand for online jobs and plenty are posted daily on LinkedIn. It's important to keep in mind that finding your ideal job will not happen overnight. You need to build a strong portfolio, apply daily and check different websites until you find what you're looking for. There are many other websites that you should keep an eye on, such as remote.com or just remote. On the other hand, if you prefer to work remotely with different companies at the same time, you should consider freelancing. This way, instead of having a full remote job, you can work on multiple projects with different clients. It gives you more control over your schedule. It also increases your earning potential since you can adjust your hours and rates to your liking. There are a lot of platforms that you can make a profile, list the services that you can provide, check the job listing and apply to one that just suits you best. Some of the most famous platforms are freelancer.com, Upwork and Fiverr. I personally think this is the best and least complicated way to get a remote job. You can make a lot of money if you know how to build a good reputation. The contracts are less complicated, so you can set your rates however you please. And many of the challenges of remote work don't exist with freelancing. I have tried it and can confidently say that if it's done right, you can earn a good amount of money. So if you're interested in learning more about freelancing, let me know in the comments below. I can make another video to talk more in detail about how these platforms work and how to build a strong profile to get them more clients. That's it for today. I hope you found the answers you are looking for. You will find below this video all the links to the websites I have mentioned. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I will see you in the next one.